Okay, back again with another video. I know it's been some time, but uh, we're going to try this on a four gang um, switch that we have. So we have uh, three three ways around here and then one single switch. And so we got this so that we can turn our new home that we're in into kind of a smart home. And this is supposed to be a pretty cool product because you can link it with your you know, your uh, doorbell camera, as well as your Sonos uh, speakers, if you have those, uh, amongst other things. And so let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, it just slides right out of the box. You can see, just slides right out, pulls off. This is the cover plate from what I've seen before. So here's the, uh, the plate here. And then the unit is back behind this stuff here. And so it's nicely packaged, as you can see. And there's four little switches here so you can test it once you get it plugged in and as you can see this is the up so that's how you want to install it with the up arrow there and again i have a uh, several three-way switches so i get this out and i know that there's some sparks parts here it says remove for three-way circuits only and so we will be doing that for three of these um and plugging right into these guys according to the instructions and so got some extra wires here and some caps the instructions are in here I'll go ahead and take a look at it for three-way installation and then we'll begin our installation and then uh, turn it on and see if we did it right all right we've got a bunch of wires obviously got some travelers to one of the three ways the other travelers the other travelers we just we got a neutral here we've designated a ground and then we've got another switch here with a a load and a line so we'll figure that out get it plugged in and uh, go from there all right I got it all wired up correctly uh, you might want to get an electrician if you don't know what you're doing I had a little trouble but now we're starting to get it all in place here I already checked these to make sure they work the power is off right now but I'll turn it back on and then we'll put the plate on all right here's the first light up it's a little crooked we're gonna try to fix that later but just plugged it in and it has a little I think a peely thing here we gotta take that off and uh, we'll get to start setting it up. Yeah, there's a little peely thing. I can't get it with one hand, but there we go. Comes right off. And it's setting it up. And so, you know, we can, that's not a dimmer, but this is a, these lights are controlled by this guy here, but I guess it's got to set up here first. So once it gets set up, we'll uh, start checking it out. All right, so I connected to the internet. That was the first thing as you select your Wi-Fi. And so I connected. Now it's updating here. And uh, yeah, we're able to control the lights in the meantime. You can see that. I'm supposed to be able to dim those, but I'll work on that on the app. Just, you can just touch them to make them come on. So you can see how that works. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's uh, mess around with it some more and uh, see what we can do. Okay, I had to go in here and you gotta set up an account on the app. I put in my email address and everything and now it's saying to set up your uh, lights. And so we are in the Pacific area uh, time zone. And uh, this is in the kitchen. And so we'll start going from there. It just turned off a couple of lights on me. Now it's running some checks it says. Lights are coming on and off. So what room is your light device in? It's in the kitchen, it's like we said. So we're gonna go through here and, and uh, name all these things and uh, set things up. All right, here it is all installed and you can do different things, put pictures of kids and stuff like that on here. You can set scenes to turn all lights on or off, what have you. Um, if you go back to the home button, then you can See, I've got some Wemo lights that I've already uh, hooked up. Those are our Christmas lights. Um, in the kitchen here, we've got all the different kinds of lights. You can also control them this way. If you wanna turn all lights on at, or off at once, when you go to the home screen, you just do slide up two fingers or slide down. We've also got um, adding a device. I'm gonna do my passcode here real quick and then I'll show you. All right, so you can add different devices and so I've added the Sonos uh, right there and uh, I've already done that so when you come over here to like music for example I've got the TV playing the masters is showing and you can turn up the volume 
okay? Or you can, you know, go to Pandora and, or whatever you have and run it through the Sonos that way. So yeah, and you can do an intercom if you have uh, other systems set up in like the kids room or whatever, hey, come to dinner or what have you. Uh, and you can also peek in. So if you are away from home, you could peek in and it'll show you the camera here of what's beyond. This will show a red light too whenever you're accessing that so people over here know that you're being watched. But you can also close this little thing if you can see it there, just a little thing to close to um, turn off that camera. But there's a lot of exploring here still to do um, on my part, but uh, yeah, you can do different kinds of stuff, run different kinds of lights, you know, um, once you set them up, especially the Wemo. I have some other kinds that aren't compatible yet with this, but I'm hoping a software update will do that. Um, the uh, I'll have to, have to say one thing about it, setting it up was a little bit difficult on the app, um, but I did figure it out, so that was the only kind of drawback so far. But right now we're enjoying it, and uh, if I have any updates, I'll uh, go ahead and put them on the uh, website, uh, uh, YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment below, and as always, subscribe and hit the bell notification as well for new videos. All right, take care.